Now we will discuss another common M-mode measurement. That is the iota left atrial measurement. Which is next common only to left ventricular dimensions in the M-mode echocardiography measurements. This is the M-mode cut usually taken from the parasternal view. Uh, in this case you are not seeing the 2D image. You are seeing only the M-mode echocardiogram. This is the anterior chest wall. Just below that is the right ventricular free wall and ROT region is seen here. And this is the anterior wall of the iota. And this is the posterior wall. Movement during time, that is horizontal axis is time, vertical axis is distance from the surface or the transducer. This is left atrium. You can see the opening of the aortic wall. This is the opening excursion of the two leaflets of the arctic wall. And this is the closing moment. So from this distance you can approximately identify the arctic wall opening. How much it is opening, whether it is partial opening or complete opening. Another important thing is the eccentricity or uh, centricity of the closure. If the closure line is in center, you will say that uh, it is symmetric closure. If it is eccentric either to one wall, aortic wall, then it is eccentric closure. Eccentric closure can occur in bicuspid aortic wall. Then the measurement will be taken the aortic dimension in diastole. And left atrial dimension is probably the only one which is taken in systole. Because this dimension is taken in ancestrally. You can see that aortic wall is just closing. That is the almost ancestralic dimension will be the maximum dimension. Some hemodynamic information can also be gained from this view. The opening excursion also will give an idea about the cardiac output. In low cardiac output states, the opening excursions of the aortic leaflets will be lesser. Similarly, this movement of the aortic walls will also be lesser in low cardiac output states because the aorta expands when a good amount of blood is pumped into the aorta.